Hey everyone, so yeah, so you know how I said last video that my next video will be a video about how Minecraft being popular again? Yeah, I, I lied so hard on that one. Well, I know this is going to be a controversial video, but <laughs> I really don't care. To be honest, I have to get my opinion out there and show why I think Fortnite is the worst game ever. No, if you love Fortnite, then do not watch this video. But if you're listening to this, I guess you're still watching. So, let's get into it. To start off, it... It's really boring. What do you do in that game? You, you run around, collect weapons, and shoot people. Uh, my headphone just fell off my desk. And it crushed a bug. I mean, can you customize weapons, though? Can you customize gear? No, no. Can, do you have a map with different locations on to go to? Well, yeah, technically, actually. But, like, you have, like, you, like, fast travel and have, like, different places you can go to and, like, have a squad you can go with. Actually, yeah, it does have that. I will admit, it does have that, okay? But other than that, honestly, it doesn't have much to it that makes it special. The graphics are not very good, the gameplay overall is boring, and you have to buy things. That's one thing I hate, and I'll get into this later, but I really hate in-game purchases. Also, Fortnite is one of those games that everyone is playing, and it has caused everyone to completely forget about every other game that Epic Games made. Do any of you even remember Unreal Tournament? Yeah, pretty much none of you. You know why? Because most of you probably never even heard of Epic Games until Fortnite came around. And it's stupid that somehow Fortnite has become successful when Armor Tournament is just as good, if not a better game altogether. The many games of this series, Armor Tournament Classic 1999, Armor Tournament 2003, Armor Tournament 2004, Armor Tournament 3, and even the new Armor Tournament coming out now, are way better than Fortnite. They had different maps, better weapons, and were just overall a much better game in terms of like, I guess overall fun <laughs> I mean in my opinion if you don't think so that's totally fine I want to says um, uh, if you think that Fortnite is awesome and you love it that's fine whatever floats you but honestly I'm just trying to say why I don't like Fortnite and why I think it's a bad game but if you like Fortnite that's okay you you can like Fortnite I'm totally cool with that but I'm just saying you know secondly there is no strategy to the game whatsoever think about games like Ghost Recon you know Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. I like Ghost Recon Wildlands. There's a new one, Breakpoint, coming out soon, you know. I can start much checking it out. Um, The Division and Supreme Commander. What, what making those games so fun? The aspect of strategy and using your mind to formulate how you play the game. I mean, Ghost Recon, you had a squad you could, like, take out, carry out missions with and, like, have to, like, carry out how you go through certain areas because there'd be too many enemies for you just to go in guns blazing with. And The Division, it's like a looter shooter and same principle as, honestly, as Ghost Recon. And Supreme Commander was all about strategy. It was literally a strategy game, you know? Fighting against, like, different, I guess, factions, you know? Different, like, factions of robots. What made those games, like, that so fun, like I just said? The aspect of strategy. Heck, even Minecraft applies to this, because it has aspects, aspects of creativity. I mean, you have the ability to build things, and this can actually be educational. Oh my god, I'm starting to sound like one of those teachers that tries to make everything educational, no matter what. I'm not like that at all. I like, I, I don't like school. <laughs> I'm a good student, but I don't like school. Thumbs up if you are a good student, but you don't like school. Now, this one, this one I'm talking about right now, I mentioned it before, but it is in-game purchases. We are all familiar with in-game purchases, whether it's on mobile games or regular video games in general. In my opinion, I hate them. I despise them. Oh, I hate them so much. Basically, in that, what you're doing is, instead of playing the game, and that's a game good, you're basically just buying everything to become good at the game. <laughs> you're like saying, oh, I am incapable of actually taking the time to get actually good at the game and be able to earn those perks, so I'll just spend some real money to get them. Now, a lot of games, Fortnite included, have in-game currency. For example, Roblox has Robux, Fortnite has V-Bucks. Now, in-game purchases come from the stupid battle passes, and the ability to buy V-Bucks reveal money. The biggest problem with this is that people are forgetting an important part of games that is actually true to real life. Hard work! As I stated, they aren't actually working to get good. They're using their money, or um, their parents' money, to buy everything. Um, again, most kids are just stealing their parents' credit cards and using that. <laughs> and since people will know this, scammers will literally target kids of all the free V-Bucks thing. And since kids will fall for that because they have fragile minds, they will fall for that. And then all of a sudden these scammers just reap money from these kids but by basically bi making them enter all their information. And they use their parents' credit card information and buy a bunch of V-Bucks for themselves or buy whatever the heck they want for themselves. And 
this can just not be a fun time <laughs> at all. And a lot of in-game purchases, like, they can just be annoying. Because sometimes, like, you have to actually use in-game purchases because it's super hard to earn credits or, like, the in-game currency on its own. Like, seriously, it is so hard. And, honestly, I'm trying to make this video longer in case you didn't know, but, um, I think this game, <laughs> it's basically just flaunting kids and flaunting basically everyone because, um, this taunts, this goes to number four, I mean, the biggest thing, the absolute biggest thing going on with this game that I happen to not like at all whatsoever. This game is indirectly causing the end of PC gaming <laughs> as we know it. Um, you're wondering what I mean by that, right? Um, you're thinking, oh, you're just being dramatic. What are you talking about? You're such an idiot. Unsubscribe right now. Oh my gosh, I'm going straight to the comment section to comment how much of an idiot you are. Yeah, um, go right ahead. I honestly really don't care because I'm just going to delete your comment. <laughs> and then I'm going to literally just ignore you. So I, I dare you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go down the comment section. Come whatever hate you want. Spew the internet. Drop the internet hate machine. Dislike my video more than Rebecca Black's Friday song. Whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. But um, I'm saying. Anyways, I'm kind of getting a bit off script here. Um, I'm saying is basically kids are using their parents' money, or kids are buying this stuff for their stupid, spoiled kids. What you mad, bro? And they're allowing Epic Games to basically. This is this is, this is what you're literally doing. They use the money that kids or parents pay for all the skins, like the dances, and like the overall just V-Bucks and all that stuff, and the bow passes and all that. And they're using that to pay developers like, you know, EA and other developers like that, to basically make their new games Epic Games exclusives. And I have those in air quotes. These exclusives not only cost tons of money, but they cause the games otherwise... To be delayed drastically on on premier platforms like Steam, Origin, UPlay, etc. The best example of this, in my opinion, is Borderlands 3. Now, in case you didn't know, actually, a bit go, a little bit backstory here. I am a huge fan of Borderlands. I remember I loved Borderlands 2, especially. That was my favorite out of the Borderlands series, and I also like Borderlands the pre-sequel, but I prefer Borderlands 2. And due to becoming an Epic Games exclusive, it is now delayed, I think, 6 months to 12 months on Steam. <laughs> so, guess what? You have to go to Epic Games, make an account if you don't have one already, and then buy all, spend all this money on a game. Or, um, uh, you know, wait 6 to 12 months, and then get it on Steam. But here's the thing, consoles aren't affected by it. You know why they aren't? Simple! Because of the fact <laughs> that guess what? They can still buy the game right now. Basically, Epic Games is screwing PC gaming so hard. Oh yeah. And to all the kids in my school who love Fortnite or talk to me or whatever, yeah, I don't care. Again, if you like Fortnite and think I'm wrong, it's okay. We're all entitled to our own opinions. I'm just saying as um, I really don't care about your opinion and I'm going to state my opinion because I love to state my opinion no matter what you think because um, I'm getting off script here. Whatever. <laughs> All I'm saying is, um, these are some reasons why I honestly don't like Fortnite, and I think it was is a pretty bad game, and Fortnite is nowhere near, in my opinion, as good as Minecraft, Roblox. I mean, there's many games I love more than Fortnite, and they're for many reasons. For example, I suggest a lot of you guys try out Unreal Tournament. Seriously, like, try it out. It's an awesome game. Unreal Tournament was was an was, um, Epic Games thing before, I guess, Fortnite took over. Unreal Tournament was their thing, you know, especially at tryout, a bi um, Unreal Tournament 2004 and Unreal Tournament 1999, the original, those are really good games, I recommend you try those out, also Quake, try out Quake as well, like Quake Champions, um, that game is very similar to Unreal Tournament, it's very fun, very, very fun, I recommend you try it out if you haven't already, and also, I recommend you try out Tom Glancy's Ghost Recon and The Division and The Division 2. I really think those games are awesome games, but the Division is more like a looter shooter, and the Ghost Recon is like a strategy first person shooter, actually no, it's not really a first person shooter, it kind of can be a first person shooter, but you have like the option to change it, I think. 
You know, there are many games I recommend you try over Fortnite. And if you like Fortnite, that's okay. You can like Fortnite, but I just recommend you try some other games, you know? Um, try out maybe Counter Strike. Um, one good game I really like that I think you should try out is uh, Half Life. Definitely try out Half Life. Half Life 2, especially. But Half Life 1 is nice too. There are many games I think you should try out because they're just really good games, and I think that you all should know about them if you don't know already. And honestly, that's about it for this video. Honestly, it was supposed to be kind of a short video anyway, but you know, I was able to stretch out to 10 minutes. But, um, yeah, that's about it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, which I'm sure many of you did not, because I'm sure having me rant on your favorite game is probably not the best, but I must say, it's just my opinion. I'm just saying why I think so. And if you like this video, make sure to kick that like button. Like I always said, super hard. Bop, bop, bop. Punch the like button. Just bop, bop, bop. Tap the notifications button. You gently just. Because, um, I, I gotta tell you this. The notifications bell is very sensitive, okay? He's very sensitive. Don't don't make him don't make him sad, okay? He'll start crying. Please don't, okay? He's very sensitive. So just give him a little nice little tap. Just a did you hear that? Get a nice little tap like that. And then once you've done that, you are good because you officially joined, joined, I meant, my notification squad. So you'll get notified whenever I upload another awesome video for you guys. And that's about it for this video. So, uh, bye bye guys. And, um, next video, um, I'm not gonna lie this time. This video is actually going to be what? Well, I'm not lying this time, okay? I lied last time. <laughs> This time is not Mac lying. This new, next video will be a video about why Minecraft became popular again. Okay, I am being very serious, very very serious. Okay, it will be coming out sometime next week. I'm not. I can't tell you when because um, school life, you know, homework, all that stuff. You know, I'm hugging hugging all that stuff, and that's about it for this video. So goodbye, everyone. Bye.